What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More to Marriage. We are here in our More to Marriage studios, okay? And we're <laughs> going to have a good time today. Uh, we're talking about something that's near and dear to our hearts. Here's what you need to know. Great marriages are made up of, of great, great forgivers. forgivers. Mm. You, you got to know how to forgive, okay? Just yes. the other day, y'all, two days ago, uh, Crystal said, hey, babe, put the food up. And this was a, a very special meal of her. She loves this meal. And she said, can you put my food up? I said, absolutely. I take the food and I put it in the microwave. Yes. Okay. And I woke up the next day thinking that my food was put up. And um, so I go in the refrigerator and I'm looking around. I'm like, man, this refrigerator is not that big. Where is my food? And so I asked, I was like, hey, babe, um, did you put my food up? He said, yeah, yeah. I felt good. I said, Let, he said, yeah. You know, I put your food up, girl. Look in the microwave. I said, the microwave, y'all, it she was hibachi, chicken and shrimp, shrimp, uh, and you know you can't leave shrimp you out can't, you can't and leave eat it the out. next day. So let me tell y'all, I wish I could say that uh, <laughs> I forgave him right away, but I was mad from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> It was our full-time job to be mad at me that day from 9 to 5. Yes. I made a mistake. Now, that's a light subject. We, the reality is we know a lot of people out there, this idea of forgiveness is hard. But we've got forgiveness, whether it's small things or big things. I think we've got to learn to be one of those, those types of people that, that are good with forgiveness, that are looking to forgive our spouse. Because the reality is uh, forgiveness is one of those things we love to receive it. But, but hate to give hate it. Hate to give hate it away. Hate to give it. I want it, but I don't want to give it away. Okay? <laughs> now, listen, for some of you out there, when we're talking about this idea of forgiveness, it, it's a hard thing. And let me just be pastoral here for a moment. For some of you, uh, you you've been lied to, uh, cheated on, manipulated, yes. taken advantage of. Abused. Abused. And, and very traumatic things. So I don't want to just gloss over this idea as if it's something just easy or just to do. Uh, but I believe that we can unpack forgiveness in a way, especially in the marital context, that'll help us all. And in order to do that, we need to talk about what forgiveness is not. Yes. What, what forgiveness uh, really is and what forgiveness is not. Babe, talk to us. Yes. About Here is what forgiveness is not. The first thing is this. Forgiveness is not forgetting it's not we live in a society where we where we grew up hearing uh, uh the saying forgive, forgive and, and forget but that is so far from the yeah. truth um, we're humans we're not going to forget when someone hurt us or harm us in any way so um we don't need to forget it but we do have to figure out how to move forward how to get to the other side of healing yeah and the reality is y'all uh we often think i haven't really forgiven this person until I forget about what they've done. Yes. Our mind's too powerful for that. Yes. There, there's just certain things we're going to remember until the day we die. And I think it's important to remember um, so that you know the uh, appropriate boundaries yeah. to set yeah. um, when you're doing life with your spouse mm -hmm. and also with other people. When we don't understand or know our boundaries, then that puts us in a situation where to get hurt again yeah. the same way. So yeah. the second thing is forgiveness is not a feeling. Mm. It is not a feeling. Say that. Listen, sometimes <laughs> we want to forget. Like, I want to forget, like, when he messed yeah. up my food. I wanted to forgive him in my mind, but my action still was mad, yes, okay? Yes. So forgiveness is not a feeling. If you're waiting to feel mm, good in to order to forgive, Give, yeah. we're going to be waiting for eternity, yeah. all right? You don't have to wait on your feelings in order to forgive somebody. No. If you're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to wait on these emotions. Your emotions may never change. Yes. But true forgiveness is so powerful that it can usurp our feelings and still reach for what forgiveness actually is. I'll say it like is. this. We... We keep ourselves bound mm -hmm. when we wait on a good feeling in order yeah. to forgive. Yes. We keep ourselves in shackles, locked up, and then we mope around the world based off of what someone else has done to us. But it's because we're harboring that like resentment yeah. and unforgiveness. Yeah, I, I love this saying. I know it's probably cliche by now, but somebody said that uh, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Mm. It's just, it's, it's, it's affecting you. Yes. And when you're in a marital context, you're married with your spouse. Uh, man, not that we want you to die. Okay. Uh, but this unforgiveness <laughs> is this, I need you to feel pain. So yes. forgiveness 
It's not forgetting. It's not a feeling. And thirdly, and the third thing, it is forgiveness is not fair. Yeah. If you're looking to uh, do a <laughs> tit for tat thing with yeah. your spouse, listen, that only damages your relationship even more. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not always going to feel the same. Yeah. You know, when Marquise hurt me about my food, I mean, that's small, but I'm still thinking about Talk that, about y'all. <laughs> like, when my food was just <laughs> trash, basically, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to figure out how to forgive him, mm-hmm. but I also was thinking in my head, I'm going to do that to him. Yeah. When he asked me that's right. that's to right. put up his food, I'm going to put his food in the microwave and let it spoil. You know, that's what I thought. Now, listen, for this is why when you say forgiveness is not fair, because the other person, reality, is going to feel like the other person is getting away. Yes. They got away with something. Yes. They hurt me. There was an infraction made, and they got, I'm just supposed to forgive you now? Yes. And you get away with it? Mm -hmm. And the reality is, that's how forgiveness (laughs) is. Because here's what true biblical forgiveness is. Forgiveness is not a feeling. It's not forgetting. It's not fair. But true biblical forgiveness means you don't owe me anything. Whoo, you have to say that again. Forgiveness means you don't owe me anything. It means wow. that when you've hurt me, you're indebted to me. There's something you owe me. There was an infraction that was made and you owe me. But forgiveness is saying you don't owe me anything. Even if you never say I'm sorry, Man. I forgive you. Even if we never have a closure conversation, I forgive you. That's good. And that's how powerful forgiveness really is. So there's a couple of handles that we use when it comes to uh, helping couples and helping ourselves when it comes to this idea of forgiveness. Yes. When we are presented with opportunities to forgive our spouse, ask yourself these three questions. The first thing is this. Did they intentionally want to hurt me? Now, when I when I put your food in that microwave. I wasn't trying to intentionally keep you hungry. I, I wasn't felt like trying it. to spoil your food. I know, I know you weren't. But but the reality, the moment, you like okay, he got me. <laughs> yes, so now I gotta get him exactly. But, but the reality is, y'all, we, we say that and we're being a little facetious. But the truth of the matter is, and, and I don't know your situation, don't know your spouse, but. You got two people who are pursuing to love one each other with all that they have. That person is not trying to intentionally hurt you. And and here's the deal. Most of the time, there's an unhealthy wound that Mm -hmm. that your spouse may be experiencing and may not not even know how to articulate to you. And you got the short end of the stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On deeper things. On deeper things. So most of the time when someone is hurting you or doing anything to you, that's a self-inflicted wound that they're going through. And so the best thing I think that we can do as spouse to help our spouse Mm -hmm. is to figure out how they can get their help. Yep. personal help, whatever it is that they need in order to set the right tone and boundaries to not do those things again. That's right. And so did they intentionally want to hurt me? Most of the time, the answer is no. Yes. The second question is this. Do we need to reconcile immediately or give it some space? Crystal mm. always says, she said that's when we were dating. There was this thing where she was just like, I need two minutes. Yes. Now, two minutes could be 45 minutes. Yes. But the idea is I need some space. Yes. Before we come back, before we reconcile, I need some space. And the reason why is because I was trying to get my tone together. Yeah, my you know, emotions. My emotions together. Yes. I love this person, and so I want to speak to him in an honorable way, you know, and sometimes when I feel you don't get that space, (laughs) exactly. I might go off, you know, I might (laughs) pop a lid. Okay. I might pop a top. I'm just kidding. Oh, um, but I need, I know myself enough yeah. to know I need that those two minutes yeah. in order to collect myself. Yeah, absolutely. And, and forgiveness is a good idea. We love it. But the truth of the matter is Jesus also commands it. Jesus said this in the book of Matthew 18 in speaking with Peter. Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? That's what I love mm. about Peter. He's just going to keep it real. How often should I, should I forgive someone? Seven times? Jesus says, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Mm. Now, for the mathematicians out there, Jesus is not saying that you forgive someone 490 times. <laughs> no, he's saying this in, in an exaggerated way, that you make a lifestyle out of forgiving somebody. And when you are married and you make it a culture that you, that we're going to forgive, that yes, you hurt me, but I'm going to forgive you. It does something where it helps your spouse feel like, man, I could, I could fall in front of this yes. person. I'm not always, I can in be this, seen. I'm not in this performance driven marriage. And so, man, we're encouraging you all out there. We do it in ourselves to create a culture of, I'm just going to forgive you man, in my life. Tim Ross said, that was good, babe. But yeah. Tim Ross said something that just like, 
changed yeah. how I saw marriage and weddings and all the things. He said something. He said something along the lines: When you get married, your yes usually is for all the things you know about your spouse, but your yes should be for all the things you don't know about your spouse, all the things yeah. they will do towards you or themselves like yeah. marriage is a constant reminder that we are to die to ourselves yes. daily and to forgive yes. daily moment by moment minute by minute absolutely how do we start that process because forgiveness isn't always an event uh, forgiveness sometimes is an ongoing journey so two things we do to begin to begin this process the first thing is this we remember how much we've been forgiven yes the truth of the matter is Forgiven people should forgive people. We've been given forgiveness. Now we have to share that with those around us. And number yes. two, we choose to cancel the debt. Yes. Forgiveness is a choice. Don't let the the debt of unforgiveness pile up, pile up. on your spouse. Keep so sure then the moment they do one more thing, you blow up. Yeah. Like if we need to talk about something, talk about it yeah. immediately. Or if you need that space, take your two minutes. Take two minutes. And then talk about it. Yeah, but you get to choose if that person is indebted to you or if you cancel the debt. Yes. And we believe it is worth canceling the debt to have a great marriage. Because yes. remember, great marriages are made up of great, great forgivers. forgivers. Okay? So remember to like like, subscribe, and share this video. We hope it was helpful for you. And as always, remember, getting more out of your marriage starts, starts with giving more in your marriage. Let's go. Until next time. Peace.